in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. At the news of your arrival to our community, dearest mother, our hearts leaped for joy as did the unborn John in your cousin Elizabeth's womb. Upon hearing your sweet voice in your coming to their humble abode, carrying your son, Jesus, in yours. We have waited for this coming of yours, carrying your son for us to adore and serve, to love and find salvation in, to be our source of hope in this land of exile as we journey in this valley of tears. We fly to your protection once again, carrying with us our joys, sorrows, and glories of life, for you are truly, truly more mother than queen to our land in love with you. As our lips move in worship, prayers of love and thanksgiving, our hands over beats of your Sorter, our needs bent in humble prayer, we come to you for your motherly protection and comfort in our afflictions. May this humble welcome of your hours bring glory to your Son as we join you in praising him for his marvelous works, and we ask you to cover our community under your mantle of protection so that we may together praise God as one community of faith. Let us pray the act of consecration of Christian families in the Philippines to the Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, we consecrate ourselves to your Immaculate Heart. We commend to your loving care our families and all families throughout the Philippines and the world. We beg you to pray for us that we may fulfill our tasks in forming a community of persons serving life, participating in the development of society, and sharing in the life and mission of the Church. Mother Mary, full of grace. May become, become an, an intimate, intimate community of life and love, and, love, and that, that we may kindle our mission to guard, reveal, and communicate love, a love that reflects God's love for humanity and love of Christ for His Church. Loving Mother of the Church, we entrust to you, all Filipino families, that we may become truly a domestic church, mindful of its sacredness, inviolability, and its beauty in God's plan, so that in us and through us, Jesus, your Son and our Savior, may be proclaimed as Lord. In fidelity to your Son's will for us, we are impelled by faith, propelled by hope, and compelled by love. Amen. Amen.
pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who by the co co cooperation of the Holy Spirit this this prepare the body and soul of the glorious Virgin Mother Mary to become a worthy dwelling for the Son. Grant that we who rejoice in her commemoration may by her loving intercession be delivered from present evils and from the uh, from the everlasting death through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord our God, I come before you once more to offer you my prayers. I have made my pleas to you again and again, and each moment I do, the more my faith increases that you are truly the God of life and love. However, there have been a number of times that I failed to call on you, that I failed to love my neighbors, that I failed to keep my promises, that I failed to ask for pardon and to give pardon to others, that I failed to give thanks for all the blessings that come my way. Yet in all these moments, you are ever present, O Lord, to remind me that you are just around, to take me back once more, if I will but come to you by meditating on the mysteries of our salvation, especially in this perpetual novena, in honor of the Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, may I be led to find your presence in my life, as Mother Mary found it in her own life, in every mystery of my joy, in every mystery of light in my life, in every mystery of my sorrow, and in every mystery of my glory, may I be able to recognize your hand, that I may know that you are indeed the Emmanuel, the God who is with us now and forever. Amen. In the silence of our hearts, let us offer to God our personal petitions we wish to obtain through the intercession of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. <laughs> Concluding prayer. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, we gather as one people in celebration of a battle fought and won, a vow made and fulfilled, a time remembered and held dear, a miracle experienced and kept alive, love received and returned, your patronage sought and thanked for, God praise, God adored. Mahal naming ina, as our lips move in whispered prayers, our hands over beads, our knees bent, our eyes look up to you. We plead for your mercy, your grace, your love. 
O Mother of Peace, give birth to God in our hearts. Give birth to peace in our world. Give birth to the Word who heals all strife, conquers sin with love, overcomes death, brings us life. As ones who interceded for the victory of faith in these islands, pray for us now in our struggle for truth and justice, for peace and love in Christ. O Queen of the Philippines, in your loving hands, you hold Jesus, our God, our King, our Savior. You hold Him for us to adore and serve, to love and find salvation in. O Mother and Queen, our hearts may be small, but our love is enormous, and we ask you to come and to take your place in us, in the company of your beloved Son, to bless us with your abiding presence, to fill us and keep us in your love and protection, to lead us to the internal fiat, and magnificat to God, in whose name we gather. Amen. Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Queen of the Holy Rosary, O bless us as we pray, and offer thee our roses in garlands day by day. While from our Father's garden we eat loving heart and bold, we gather to thine honor, but white and red and gold. O Queen of the Holy Rosary, each mystery blends with thine, the sacred life of Jesus in every step divine. The soul was his fair garden, thy virgin breast his throne, thou taught his faithful mirror, reflecting him alone. Sweet Lady of the Rosary, white roses let us bring, and lay them round thy footstool before our infant King. For resting in thy bosom, God's Son was fain to be. The child of thy obedience and spotless purity. O Queen of the Rosary, O bless us as we pray. And offer thee our roses in garlands day by day. While from our Father's garden we eat loving heart and bold, we gather to thine honor. But white and red and gold. Today, as we welcome the image of the Blessed Mother, Santissimo Rosario of UST, we celebrate the memorial of St. Andrew Kim Taigon and Paul Chong Hasang and Companions Korean Martyrs. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves 
to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Panginoon, kawaan mo kami, kawaan mo kami. Oh, 
Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the blood of the martyrs, St. Andrew Kim Taigon and his companions, a most fruitful seed of Christians, grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Like a stream is a king's heart in the hand of the Lord. Wherever it pleases him, he directs it. All the ways of a man may be right in his own eyes, but it is the Lord who proves hearts. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the tillage of the wicked is sin. The plans of the diligent are sure of profit, but all rash haste leads certainly to poverty. Whoever makes a fortune by a lying tongue is chasing a bubble over deadly snares. The soul of the wicked man desires evil. His neighbor finds no pity in his eyes. When the arrogant man is punished, the simple are the wiser. When the wise man is instructed, he gains knowledge. The just man appraises the house of the wicked. There is one who brings down the wicked to ruin. He who shuts his ear to the cry of the poor will himself also call and not be heard. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Give me discernment that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Lead me in the path of your commands, for in it I delight. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. And I will keep your law continually forever and ever. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Lord. 
the mother of Jesus and his brothers came to him, but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside, and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We have a saying, those who do not know history are bound to repeat the mistakes of the past. Sa Tagalog, no, mayroon din tayong ganong klase ng kasabihan. Ang hindi marunong lumingon sa pinanggalingan ay hindi makakarating sa paroroonan. Kaya nga nandito ngayon ang mahal na birhen ng Santisimo Rosario ng UST ay upang lumingon sa pinanggalingan. And it is such a rich history to trace how the Blessed Mother originally was in Intramuros in the chapel of the original campus of UST which we tried to trace yesterday. Of course, we could not go anymore to that spot dahil may mga nakatayo ng ibang building. But we tried to trace back its roots to Intramuros. And the lady spent a night there at the Mother Church at the Manila Cathedral. Tonight, our Blessed Mother has once again returned to her former house here in the uh, Chinese parish of Binondo, Our Lady of the Rosary, to look back when she was here. Hindi po ako historian. Nakita ko lang sa tarpaulin ninyo sa labas. 1945 to 1954. Actually, the parish on its 80th anniversary is trying to trace back our history and the history of the Blessed Mother, more than just being connected to the University of Santo Tomas, is very much connected to the history of the parish. And one of the uh, plans of the parish is actually to produce a coffee table book. Kaya nga po, doon nang galing itong uh, maliit na project na ito, no? nagsimula lang siya sa isang idea, what if we make as part of the 80th anniversary of the parish as an activity to go back? No? Saan ba nang mula no? itong imahe nito ng mahal na birhen? And slowly, no, through research, no, because we are supposed to produce that particular book, eh, napatunayan na dumaan dito sa inyo no? ang imahe ng mahal na birhen. And that is what we wanted to trace. I do not know if there are still people who are alive now who saw the Virgin when they were still young. Meron po ba? Oh, wala na. Baka sa pictures na lang natin nakita din. No? Um, sayang, no? sana kung mayroon, no? ay mayroon makapagkikwento sa atin. Kasi, sa palagay ko, katulad nung sinabi nating ang hindi marunong lumingon sa pinanggalingan ay hindi makakarating sa paroroonan. No? Ngayong tayo ay nasa 80th anniversary, no? I think as we look back at the past, we also try to look forward to the future. No? How are we going to move forward? And I think by appreciating the past, no? the history, we might get a glimpse no, how we would be moving forward. Today, in the Gospel, we see how people approach the Lord. No? And they told Him, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside. No? It's not that our Lord did not recognize His mother or His brothers. No? Now we are here going back no, to where the Virgin was. No? Yung mga parishioners po ng Santisimo Rosario, we are trying to introduce our Blessed Mother no? to this generation. No? Kasi sa totoo lang po, napakakaunti lang talaga yung nakakakilala 
no? o nakakaalam ng history ng mahal na birhen ng Santisimo Rosario ng UST. In fact, nakakalungkot kung minsan kahit yung mga pari na Dominicans assigned sa UST ay hindi nila alam. Meron nga isang pari doon nung nagsabi sa akin, no? because we are a building a campus in General Santos and in Santa Rosa. And he was asking, ano kayang magandang image ang ilagay natin sa General Santos? Our Lady of Manawag ba? O Our Lady of Lanabal? Sabi niya, meron ng manawag sa Jensan, Lanabal kaya? Sabi ko, bakit yung dalawang yun ang iniisip mo? May sarili tayong imahin ng Santisimo Rosario ng UST na naan doon sa campus ng UST noon pa man. Bakit hindi yan ang ipromote natin? Lahat ng tumasinong dumaan sa UST sa chapel, nakita, nagdasal no? sa mahal na birhen na ito. Father Coronel is here, no? our Secretary General of the University. We were talking last night and he was telling me, imposibleng hindi nagdasal sa harapan ng imahin na yan, ang Tomasian Martyrs. Imposibleng hindi nagdasal sa harapan ng birhen na yan. No? Lahat ng dumaan, no? graduates ng Santo Tomas, both saints and sinners, <laughs> imposible. Doon pa lang, no? napaka-rich na ng history ng mahal na birhen na ito. No? Kaya nga, gustong-gusto naming ipromote. No? Kaya parte yan. No? Ito'y simula lamang no? ng pagpopromote natin ng uh, image na ito ng Our Lady of the Rosary of UST. No? Other plans later would be a yearly visit probably. I do not know. <laughs> Pero hindi na yung original image. No? Maybe a uh, pilgrim image of our Blessed Mother. Sabi ng ating Panginoon, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. Jesus is not denying that Mary is his mother. Jesus is not saying he does not recognize his own mother. In fact, Jesus is introducing his mother to us. Who is the mother of Jesus, the one who hears the word of God and acts on it. Si Maria ang ehemplo ng taong nakinig at sumunod sa salita ng Diyos. And the invitation goes to us. We can also be brothers and sisters of Christ if we only hear the word of God and act on it. Today, we celebrate the memorial of St. Andrew Kim Taigon, Paul Chong Hasang, and companions. Bago pa nagka-K-pop, K-drama, meron na tayong K-martyrs, no? Korean martyrs. No? Kaya kung mahilig kayo sa Korean, no? ayan, no? St. Andrew Kim Taigon. No? Very unique ang pagpasok ng Christianity sa Korea. It did not come through missionaries, no? just like how they came here in the Philippines with priests. No? It was the lay, no? yung laity doon. No? They are the ones who initiated the faith there. Only later did the priest come. And we see the local vocation in Andrew Kim Taigon. And I think no, very close din yung connection niya sa Chinese community because he had this formation as a seminarian in Macau and even here in the Philippines. No? Again, Father Coronel, <laughs> sabi ko nga kanina, sana siya na lang yung nag-homily. No? Siya po ay taga Bukawi. No? At sa Bukawi, no, mayroon dong chapel ng mga Korean sisters. No? Why? Because Andrew Kim Taigon no, actually went there. No? Nagpunta talaga siya no, dito sa Pilipinas. No? And I think that close connection with this saint, no, with us as Chinese community, as Filipinos, is inviting us as well 
How do we become martyrs? No? How do we become martyrs? Not all of us will be able to offer our life no? just because of our faith to whatever, no? ng mga terrorists or whatever. No? Wala na mga ganyan ngayon. No? Meron pa rin actually. No? Pero hindi tayo lahat mabibigyan ng ganong chance. No? But I think if we talk about offering our life, no? if you are a mother working for your family, for your children, a father, no? working for your loved ones, no? that is offering your life. That is also martyrdom. If you are a student studying no? in order to later on become a doctor and help other people, or if you are a frontliner right now, no? we have seen this during the pandemic, literally, they are giving their life. For others. Nasa bingit din sila ng kamatayan. Just to serve those who are sick. They too are martyrs offering their life for others. Every day, we are called to become martyrs. Every day, we are called to offer our lives for others. Jesus' message of the gospel and his own life are our guidelines in seeking God's will. Let us pray to God our Father that we may follow him and live his message. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may live the spirit of the gospel and always seek God's will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may deepen our faith by extending services to the poor, the handicapped, and the disadvantaged. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may become true members of God's family by being faithful to the will of the Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may Make God's word alive in us by living it out in the daily circumstances of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find perpetual light and eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, make us worthy to belong to your family by our life of faith expressed in our good deeds. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Sing the love of me. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you, for the salvation of all the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, St. Andrew Kim Taigon, Paul Chong Hasang, and companions, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, chose forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness to Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. the fount of all holiness, make holy. Therefore, this gives you pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis the Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Andrew Kim, and companions, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. Nourish with the food of the valiant as we celebrate the blessed martyrs, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please be seated. Reverend Father, Paul Regan Talavera, OP, Parish Priest of Santismo Rosario Parish, USD, and Reverend Father Luis and Father Vincent, and our Reverend Deacon John Paul, and Sister Gladys, the BBC President of uh, Bilondo Tennis Parish and the officers of the BBC represented representatives from the mandated or organizations of the Bilondo Chinese Parish and distinguished guests from our sister parish, the Santissimo Rosario Parish USD. And all of you, my dear parishioners, good evening. Today is the day of joyful celebrations. For today, with great humility, we welcome back to our parish the sacred image of the Santissimo Rosario of the University of Santo Domas. This central's old image of Our Lady of the Rosary was wholly heartedly lent to our then fledgling, fled, fledgling parish by the Dominican fires of the University of Santo Domas, resided in our parish for almost a decade from 1945 to 1954 until through the generation uh, sorry through the generosity and devotion of of one of our, our parishioners and the family 
of Sister Lily Gan. She is there. Thank you so much. And then we are able to have our own image of the Santo Rosario. So thank to the family. The post-war parish priest, Reverend Father Antonio Garcia O.P., initiated the restoration of the Belondo Chinese parish from a parcel of land given by then Archbishop of Manila, Michael Doherty, and through those years, this image of Our Lady was venerated on the retablo red, red above the main altar of our old parish. She stood witness to our rebirth after the de devastation of the Second World War, guiding our Dominican missionary forebears of building not only the physical structure of the parish, but also of again planning, planting the foundations of faith in our Chinese Filipino community. A lone picture from July 14, 1946, during the blessing of Crusaders Academy by the Apostolic Delegate Monsignor Guillermo Piani is a silent testimony of, of the historicity of her stay in our humble parish. There may be other pictures or Mandatos of her stay here, but sadly, they have been either lost or forgotten with time. More importantly, with this image of Our Lady of the Santissimo Rosario, the old timers of Belondo Chinese Parish has anchored their faith to Christ and his blessed mother and have fostered the devotion to the Holy Rosary that has been passed on to their children and their children's children. So keeping in their hearts the knowledge and assurance of the unending maternal care of our blessed mother through times of trials and thanksgiving. To, to those who have made this historic visitation possible from the parish priest of Santissimo Rosario Parish. So now we have a gift to Father Paul and the parish. to our very own parish pastoral council, to those in charge of the physical arrangement of the church and altar, to the security inside and outside the promises of the church, and to the many, to the many devotees of Our Lady, receive my heartfelt thanks and gratitude. And always remember, dear brothers and sisters, that whatever the de depiction of Our Lady, be it the ancient image from the University of Santo Domas, or to our very own image 
in the parish. So we are given the comfort of knowing we are always under mother's loving maternal matin mantle. So thank you, and God bless us all. And our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, pray, pray for us. us. Uh, in behalf also of the Santissimo Rosario Parish of UST, I'm sorry I could not be around tomorrow for the transfer of the image to the bigger church. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone, especially our parish priest, Father John Vianney Wang, the community of the Dominicans here in the Chinese parish of Binondo, likewise for reminding us that we are really a sister parish since we share one mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of UST. So as a token of our appreciation to Father and to the whole parish community, we would also like to present you a picture of our Blessed Mother as a remembrance of this very historic, if not a, a once-in-a-lifetime no, event. Thank you very much. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.
Salvador, Salvador. 